Hi there and welcome to Arduino Project 8, the digital hourglass. The idea of this project is that we will create, we'll turn the Arduino itself into a small hourglass uh, using six LEDs to um, count the minutes down. There's this little tilt switch here which, if you can hear, has a little ball bearing inside it. Uh, the idea for this tilt switch is that we'll attach it to the breadboard somewhere and at the moment it's it kind of pops out of the breadboard so we may have to hold it in place when we do the testing um, but the idea is when you tilt the breadboard one way uh, the digital hourglass will turn on then when you tilt it the other way it'll t reset and uh, and go on and recount the minutes so let's get stuck in and actually develop the um, circuit itself so we'll start with the power uh, so as usual let's bring the power up from the very top of the breadboard here and bring it round, twist it a bit so it gets out of the way and bring it into the 5 volt and the ground and then we will be connecting up the um, the tilt switch itself between the positive at around row 4 let's say and we'll take a um, 10 kilo ohm resistor and connect that to the ground and that goes to row 5 then, like so. And I think the tilt switch, if I put it in, will just pop out on me. So, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't stay in the hole properly. So we'll do the rest of the circuit and come back to the tilt switch later. But we need to um, connect this then, in column C, uh, across to digital port 8, I believe we're using. Yes, we're using digital port 8 for this. For the tilt switch itself. So that's the circuit for the tilt switch all sorted. Um, then we'll actually plug in the LEDs themselves. So uh, we're going to connect the anodes, the longer legs, to digital pins 2 through 7 here. So we're going to start up here and um, we'll start around here and go from 10 to 11 there, like so. I'll just plug all of the LEDs in, although that'll probably make it a lot, diff lot more difficult for me actually. So Let's start with the first LED and plug that into uh, digital port 7 from the top, like so. And then the bottom of it will go using a 220 ohm resistor um, back to the ground, like so. If I can get this in the holes, there we go, perfect. Uh, then we'll go for our next one, which will be from about port 13, let's bring port 13 down to digital port 6. The wires are all starting to overlap now because I want to keep them out of the way of my fingers for when I'm actually putting the rest of the wires in. Uh, and then we'll put another 220 ohm resistor in between 14 and the ground. Like so. And then another LED between 13 and 14. Perfect. Uh, then we'll want to connect the next LED between uh, let's say 16 here and digital port 6 like so uh, with a resistor between 17 and ground there's the ground in, there's 17 in and then our LED again long leg attached to port, uh, to row 16 which is attached to digital port 6 there we go and the next one is going to be 19 and 20 to digital port 5 like so and let's get the resistor in place between 20 and the ground and then the LED 19 to 20 then we want another cable between 22 
and digital port 4. All these cables are getting a little bit, little bit cosy now. So let's twist this around the other way. To digital port. Oh no, sorry, that's digital port three that we're on now. So last but one, and we'll take another resistor. Go from twenty-three back to the ground, like so. And our LED, 22 and 23. And then our final one, which is going from digital port 2 there through till port 25. And our resistor from 26 back to the ground. And finally, the LED for is 25 and 26. Perfect. So all our LEDs are in place, all the resistors are in place, all the wiring's in place. So it's just the tilt switch that has a tendency to pop out if I don't hold it in place. But oh, yeah, it's just popping out. So we'll do the we'll go to the computer now, do the programming, and then come back and. May have to hold the LED, hold the uh, tilt switch in place, but hopefully it'll work. Okay, here we are on the computer, so let's get cracking with the code. Okay, so there we have our code all written. So what we're doing, let's start at the very top here, is first of all we need to set our actual variables, um, set up our global variables here. Uh, the thing is though, we're looking at this long interval here. This, this is, at the moment, this is the 10 minute interval. Uh, and this is 600,000 uh, milliseconds. So it's not a very ideal number for us to test with when we're actually going back to the board. So what we'll do is, We'll divide that by 60 and um, to get the number of seconds essentially. So we divide by 60 and divide by 10 to get the number of seconds. So that should be uh, the number. Of, so that should be an interval of a second. So then we are setting up and we're setting each one of the pins from two till two till seven because x is less than eight uh, as the output, and we're setting the switch pin, which is eight, as the input. Uh, then in our loop we are having our current time is equal to whatever milliseconds we're on and then if the current time minus the previous time is greater than the interval then we will set we'll write our LED to high our LED which we're starting as 2 uh, so our first one is actually going to switch on at that point uh, then if LED equals 7 then there's a there's an option to actually do some more work there. So at the end of the, well, after all of the LEDs are switched on, then there's an option to do something else, maybe activate a buzzer. Um, so that would be activate buzzer or something along those lines. Uh, then, we're, then we're going to set our switch state as equal to, uh, in, in, as part of the loop as well, we're going to switch, set our switch state equal to the digital read of the switch pin and we're going to say if the switch state is not equal to the previous switch state and this whole area here is all about saying let's flip over our hourglass basically if the switch state is not equal to the previous switch state uh, we're going to reset switch all of the uh, LEDs to off reset the LED the current LED to 2 again and set the previous time is equal to the current time and then we're going to set our previous switch state to the actual switch state. Uh, and that's it. So uh, let's try and upload this to the Arduino now. Compiling sketch. And we've uploaded successfully. And I'm going to switch over to the Arduino. And hopefully this will all work successfully. Okay, so coming back to the Arduino itself, all of the LEDs had switched on um, and I hadn't actually put the switch in yet at all. So because the switch keeps popping out, I'm going to have to hold this in place. But if I put the switch in, the LEDs all reset and then they count up 5, 4, 5 and 6. And then if I tilt this the other way, then they switch off 1, ooh, one 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. 
it's difficult to see because my hand's in the way, but if I tilt it again, one, two, three, four, five, and six. It's just a shame that this uh, <laughs> tilt switch doesn't actually fit into the, uh, the breadboard that well, uh, and it just pops out. But if I take it out, then it does reset. One, two, three, four, five, six. So everything is working perfectly and as expected. And if I uh, increase the actual uh, the actual interval, then this would work perfectly and would be able to match an hourglass. And that's it. So thank you very much for watching. Until next time. Bye bye now.